Hello everyone, welcome to Move Well, Live Well. We get a number of people coming in here with issues regarding their rotator cuff. Now, a lot of people think the rotator cuff is like a cuff, or they'll even say rotator cup, but it's a cuff, C-U-F-F. -F. And what it consists of, what the rotator cuff consists of, are actually four different muscles. There's the supraspinatus, the infraspinatus, the teres minor and the subscapularis. And these four strap muscles kind of keep the shoulder in its socket, gives it the stability it needs so you can go and do your uh, activities that you do on a daily basis. Now, the most common shoulder rotator cuff injury is impingement, in which the tendon of the supraspinatus muscle gets impinged as you uh, go up, uh, raise your arm up and down, or do any kind of overhead uh, type of activity. And it pinches in there, and over time, that tendon can fray, kind of like a rope um, on a rock, and you kind of rock it back and forth on the rock, and that rope starts to fray, that tendon starts to fray. And you start getting um, a condition over time, it's called uh, a tendinopathy. In other words, it frays a little bit, then it heals up, and then it frays a little bit, and then it heals up, and then it's always in this constant state of healing and uh, breakdown and healing and breakdown, and it doesn't quite get to proper healing all the way. So, they get that condition, uh, a rotator cuff impingement and or tendinopathy, uh, which is a little bit different than tendinitis. Tendinitis is inflammation of the tendon, and um, it's kind of out of the scope of this particular video. But anyway, tendinopathy is a condition where the tendon itself, it's in this constant state of flux, always breakdown and healing and breakdown and healing. It doesn't get to quite healing all the way. So you always have this kind of constant problem. And it can lead to, you know, shoulder, frozen shoulder type of issues. So what we're seeing with these folks, a lot of them uh, are athletes. They do a lot of throwing. Uh, believe it or not, we see this a lot also on truck drivers. They do a lot of doing this, and over time, they just get that fraying of that uh, shoulder rotator cuff tendon, the supraspinatus tendon in particular. Well, how do you fix that? How do you um, get that impingement uh, from that, that, that tendon from pinching into the structures of the shoulder? How do you get that? to alleviate so that way the tendon can heal properly and get so that way you can get back to your activities much more quicker. Well, there is a certain set of exercise, Codman's exercises, and this is kind of like a pendulum type of exercise. And essentially what you're doing, you find uh, this could be a table or uh, I just have a plyo box here. You can have a table at home or a, a bed even and uh, perform these exercises on here. So what Codman's exercises are is if my right shoulder is having a problem, and remember, impingement is uh, as you raise the arm above a certain level, you start getting pinching in that shoulder. You can't quite raise your arm all the way. So it, it starts to push, that tendon starts to push against the structures, uh, the bone, the acromion uh, of your scapula, and uh, they, they start having problems in there and then it starts to fray. So by doing uh, an exercise where you're letting the arm hang, it takes the shoulder away. It puts shoulder, it, it distracts the shoulder so that way, see that? So what Codman exercises are, they're also called pendulum swings. So just like a pendulum, what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of just rock back and forth. Now I'm not moving my hand here, see? I'm using, if you can kind of see my hips and my upper body, they're kind of doing the motion here and my arm is just swinging like a pendulum. See that? And this is just kind of rocking back and forth like this. And you can do this for 30 seconds to a minute. You can uh, do this on your table, uh, on your couch, whatever it may be. Uh, the idea here is to use the upper body and your lower body to kind of rock back and forth a little bit to allow your arm to swing on its own. So I'm not even, I'm not even trying to move my arm. And if you kind of see here, if I, if, I just, if I go about right 
here. If I stop right there, you can kind of see, if I stop right here, my arm is now slightly above horizontal in this position here. And then over time, you can add more and more swing into your arm as you tolerate it. You can add more and more swing into your arm and then eventually you'll get to a point where, see I'll stop right there and you'll get to a point where you see I'm that much, that much more higher to get my arm up above horizontal. You see that? So these are Codman's exercises, Codman's pendulum. Pendulum swings are another name for it. There's lots of names for it. I, like, I kind of like the pen, pendulum swing because all you're essentially doing is rocking your upper body here and you're allowing your arm to swing. And again, you're in control of this. You're in control of how much swing there is to what you can tolerate. So over time, as you start to swing in this position, over time you're going to get to a point where you can swing higher and higher and higher to uh, heal that area. And using the force of gravity, that distracts the shoulder from those structures that are pinching in there. And then you're going to get alleviation of pain, and over time you're going to get proper healing. So, those are Codman's pendulum swings. So do these 30 seconds to a minute, right? Rock forward and back. You can even go side to side. So let me go this way, right? Well, you can even go side to side. So if I'm over just like that, side to side. And again, I'm just rocking back and forth. My arm, I'm not trying to move my arm. I'm just swinging back and forth. See that? I'm just, with my hips, I'm just kind of stepping back and forth here and my arm is swinging. This is side to side. See that? Side to side. Again, 30 seconds to a minute, you do it this way. Add this to your repertoire of exercises. And then you can also do, uh, when you're doing these, you can even do clockwise, excuse me, this is counterclockwise. <laughs> so uh, you can do, counterclockwise and again uh, the ideal would be to have a support you can use the box or whatever but I'm just kind of doing this hanging without support for demonstration purposes so this is counterclockwise see that and again I'm just using my own body's momentum to do this here and then I can go counterclockwise too 30 seconds to a minute you see that 30 seconds to a minute just like that. So again, you can use, use the support back and forth. Again, you're, raw, you're using your momentum of your body to get that motion going, that pendulum swing, if you will. And you can kind of see as I, I stop right there, you can see I'm above horizontal in that position right there. See that? And over time, you can rock even more vigorously here to get higher and higher, right there, stop right there, and you can see how much higher I am here. Now, I don't have any shoulder issues, so um, that's gonna be, again, you do these exercises as tolerated. So, one, you do it forward and back, right? Forward and back like this. Then you can do it side to side, like this. You can do counterclockwise, like this. And you can do counterclockwise like this. And then to even add more, you can do palms up. See, palms up, right? Palms up, you can do a neutral grip. So your hands like this in a neutral grip, right? You can do a palms up grip like that. You can even do a palms down grip just like that as you do them as well. And over time, that distraction, that gravity as it distracts your shoulder, um, it's going to help that tendon to heal properly. So that way you get back to your activities more quickly. And then even as you progress, you can even add weight into your hands. So you can add a dumbbell or uh, 5 pounds, 10 pounds as you get better and better. As the pain starts to decrease, increase the, uh, the swing, 
And then you can even increase weight by adding a dumbbell. So you can put a dumbbell in your hand and you can even swing with the dumbbell. So anyway, this is for, these are great exercises to help relieve that shoulder impingement syndrome, rotator cuff uh, impingement syndrome, as well as rotator cuff tendinopathy in which the tendon of the supraspinatus muscle or one of those muscles, it could be any one of them, to help that muscle from this constant build up and break down, this heel and break and heel and break and break that cycle by using that distraction type exercise. So, if you have any questions, drop them off in the comment section below. We thank you for watching, we appreciate it. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. And when you hit subscribe, make sure you uh, click on that bell notifications button. That way you don't miss any videos here coming in the near future. And give us a like, it lets us know you care. And obviously share this with others so that way they can benefit from uh, the information on these videos. And again, we thank you for watching. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.